could be happier. It is so cool. So cool. Okay, so cost, because I'm sure that's what you really want to know anyway, and we are super happy to share this. So this place costs us. The only thing I realized is we haven't really done a great job of explaining what we're doing in Hoi An or what our sort of intentions are in Vietnam. We always had planned that we'd spend a couple of weeks in this villa that we're at that we've shown you quite a few times already but we've also been looking at apartments and villas and we've finally managed to lock one in which we're super stoked about. It's actually surprisingly similar to this cost wise because we're getting it over a month those daily rates come down significantly and we get complete freedom as well. So we're just dropping rocks. For us, it gives us more of a chance to, one, reduce some of those costs because full-time travel is not as expensive as it's made out to be. Um, but also we can sort of get a little bit more immersed and see things outside of the typical tourist spots. And I feel like I've mentioned that a lot actually around Vietnam, saying that in Hoi An, like this is the tourist area and we've got outside that and now the experience is completely different or it's a lot more local, it's more enjoyable, there's less people. So we sort of want to be able to show both sides of that. When we move from country to country for those longer periods in between, we've got plenty of places that we really want to tick off and that might be for more of a week-long basis and we film every day as we sort of go around on more of a, um, a daily travel scenario. This is our last cooked breakfast. We're going to have to start fending for ourselves soon, babe. So today's a big day, we're moving into our villa which is uh, really cool, quite difficult because you've got to move bags and everything and we've only got a scooter to make that happen. You good? I think that'll work. I can still get to the brake. What still... about your legs? Uh, yeah, that's the hardest part. I'm going to have to be like this. <laughs> you're going to fit right in. Let's see. Hopefully I see you soon. It's only like five minutes away, so. So we've just checked into our new place. We've done our inventory list. Definitely not as detailed as it was in Chiang Mai. So we've got a TV. Bed with AC. It's pretty hot in here, so I've already taken off all my clothes. <laughs> Uh, shower which isn't isn't great but that's okay sink toilet and then we've got the kitchen and the wardrobe strangely in here but I guess that's what you get with the studio lots of storage space there and then just the standard cooking stuff and the best bit though look straight out onto that that is the real highlight and you can see just out here as well as the river so like any relationship we've both got our roles when we move somewhere new Stacy's unpacking clothes and I'm on the important shit <laughs> I'm on the technology trying to figure out how we can get two laptop chargers drones phones cameras Apple TV which also means really shitty adapters and having to hold them against the wall with rubber bands. Stacy came up with this idea and I think it's absolutely genius. All unpacked and settled in. I think before we do anything and we start talking about the cost and everything, we definitely need to go and check out the pool and have our first swim uh, and probably throw in a bit of cinematics because we sort of roll that way. First one down and hopefully you've just seen the cinematics of what this place looks like. So this place costs us 400 US dollars for the entire month. Crazy. It's, it is absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. Eh? So that includes 
uh, like our water that we use, gas cooking, and internet. And also cleaning once a week and our laundry as well. Yeah, so apparently we get all that just once a week. We just tell them the day that we want it. The thing that's not included is power, but that never really is. It sounds like that's the sort of thing that we generally settle up at the end of the month. Yep. We don't know what our per unit rate or anything is, but I'm sure it won't be too bad. So this place is actually a little bit out of town, which is probably why it was a little bit cheaper. Yeah, um, it's out of like the, the, the touristy area, I suppose. Yeah, and so we paid the first two months rent up front. Which is how long we'll probably stay here for. So we pretty yep. much paid, we paid 800 US dollars when we moved in and then a very small bond of like 50 US dollars or yep. something. Finding this place is a lot more difficult than somewhere like Chiang Mai. We've done apartment hunting videos and stuff there before with this. We had to find, look on a couple of expat Facebook groups and then eventually find the one and only Hoi An real estate company that hooked us up with this place and then it just sort of all fell into place from there. Oh, we lit, no, we Got get a text. <laughs> So I think that pretty much covers everything, but if you guys yeah. have any questions, just hit us up and Danger will get back to you. <laughs> yeah, I generally reply to all of the comments anyway. And the other thing that I think we'll do is, once we've been here for a month or maybe two months, we'll do a full cost of living in Vietnam video. We've done the same thing in Thailand, which will be up in one of these corners. <laughs> If you're somewhere. on a computer, I'll link it, <laughs> I'll link it somewhere. Um, so yeah, we'll do a wrap up at the end. Otherwise, I feel like that's about as much as I can think that we can share. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks again for the support. Thanks for watching, Catch subscribe, <laughs> like, comment, notifications, <laughs> or a thing. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs>